All right, peeps, welcome back. We got a lot of work done today. I'm gonna take you through a quick tour. Uh, the front, you know, just kid zone. Anybody over the AJ don't really care. But kid zone, nothing but inflatables. Um, we got a couple of inflatables not going right now, but we will tomorrow. And then I tarped off the back. We're gonna have some stuff in there. I went and got the Zoltan for uh, $49. So we'll put him in there and some other stuff. That's where we're gonna hand out candy. And then um, if they're gonna take the haunted house, then this is gonna be the tour right here. It's gonna start right here at this line. We're gonna have somebody escort them back. We're gonna do it in groups, and they're gonna be categorized one, two, or three on scare levels. So here we go. We're just gonna walk back. This broken light right here. All these lights, they're in the middle getting fixed right now. That's why we're doing a dry run right now. So we're gonna come back here. All these fence posts right here, homemade. Got that from the Dollar Tree, some PVC, paint them black, do some foam inside to make them stick. Looks, looks pretty freaking awesome. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna come up to is the cemetery. So here's the cemetery right here. We got a skelly here, and then we got a moving grave, breathing grave, I guess you would call it. It's nice and slow. I slowed it down a lot. So I'm pretty happy with that too. We got the skeleton on top. The kids are having a break dance party back there. So we got the band, all the tombstones. There's a new tombstone we got the other day for $40. Um, it's voice act or it's uh, it's activated by uh, motion, but anybody knows that it doesn't do anything with it. nothing. It's not gonna do anything. So with all that, we still got our lawnmower guy there. Got the fog machine going, it's the ice, so it's keeping it low to the ground. Off in the distance, that's the that's the uh, rock party right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. We got the rock band right there. So they're back there messing around. And we got a Halloween playlist on Alexa. Hey, why is Alexa not playing? She is. Okay. So we got Alexa. We got a fog machine back there. We got this skeleton right here in the back that says "I love you" with a sign. This sign right there says I love you. And um you know all the guys are moving on there. Got the guy dunking the basketball and we got the swing set right here. Alright. Zoom it back out here. Alright, so we're gonna come over here. We got the generator going. We got the good old ghost rider. We got him last year for $50 at uh, Home Depot, pretty cheap. And then, this is something I did yesterday, I got this guy proposing. I had to put a string on him to uh, get him to hold his hand. It's pretty generic from Walgreens. You would think originally being 50 bucks, they'd be pretty posable, but they're not. But we got her going there. Heads on a stake. They've been around since my first haunt. They've been around since my first haunt, so I keep them, because it reminds me of where I came from. I made my own YouTube video. You made your own YouTube video? That's what I'm talking about. All right, go dance. All right, and the name of the band is called uh, Medusa and the Morons. It's supposed to be $15 x out with uh, free on there because obviously nobody wants to come see. But we got some, got some lights and stuff in there. You can barely see the lead singer. They must have just hit the fog machine. All right, then we got the pumpkin guy here, the clown. We made two windows. So we got the window right there with a pumpkin in it. I made them close in relation with the other pumpkin. Ghost on the wall. All right, we're gonna go inside. So the first room is the uh, the office. We got the butler from Costco. This guy's supposed to be uh, waiting his turn. You can tell he's been waiting a long time. We got the TV. Uh, the TV needs batteries. We get the batteries in there. This is probably tonight or tomorrow. We made this little guy too. With a suitcase. If you ever seen my uh, like any of my tutorials or my background on Facebook, you'll see that uh, this is one of my pictures. All right, and then we got some cool stuff up here, the one here. And then we got the radio back there. It's probably not working. It's not on right now. But uh, these guys, um, these guys, my second oldest, had went through and um, took all the wires out for the speakers. Because I think if too much is talking at one time, it's going to be too much. So this is going to be the counter behind here. That's where my second oldest is going to be. And then we're going to enter the witch room. So the witch room right here. Uh, another one of these.
these guys right here from Home Depot for 35 bucks. I got the Ouija board, haven't hooked that up. I went through, we're doing a dryer run right now and totally forgot about the Ouija board. So I'm gonna have to get to that tomorrow. All the homemade oddities right here with some, uh, I put some of the motion lights on them. Or not the motion lights, the floodlights or whatever you call them. All these books right here are homemade. Some of them made out of Ritz cracker boxes. Some of them are real books like this one. This one's a real book. We got the fairy in there. Come over to the witch's table. We got some frogs. I love these owls. We got these owls that uh, buy one, get three free over at uh, Joanne. Here's the witch we made. Some more oddities we made. Just a little bit of decor. Probably do a little bit more next year, but it's good enough for now. All right, and then this is the asylum. So the asylum, we just got um, some masks up. We got the guillotine right here, or the head. We got some of these crazy guys over here. And then uh, right here, this is just a mannequin I got for free out of the trash. It's one of those uh, ones you put in a store to put clothes on. So, and uh, this breaker box, I paid 10 bucks yesterday. Batteries are already dead or something wrong with it. So we gotta work on that too. So a couple little things we gotta work on here and there. But other than that, everything seems to be running pretty smooth. We just ran out of gas. But we filled up the gas tank and we should be good now on the generator. That's what you hear in the background. So we enter the clown room. I blocked the clown room off. I got this guy climbing out. I'll tell you why everybody wants to get out here in a minute. But uh, we're gonna have, I don't know, we're gonna have a live actor back here. Um, and then um, we got all these guys. Everybody's seen the, the big guy from Spirit. So we'll play him real quick. I don't buy much from Spirit, I probably won't anymore, but I just had to have this guy last year because he's my centerpiece. So there's him. I got this guy, my homemade guy. This is my first ever uh, paper mache head or paper clay head. And then we got the jester. I love the jester too. Got these guys on the uh, bodies of PVC. So we got one guy back there, some up here. This guy's leaving. And the reason this guy's leaving, oh, we got a guy on a swing too. And uh, the reason this guy's leaving is because as you come into the butcher shop, you slowly realize that uh, he's, he's butchering clowns. So we got a clown bucket over there, the clown in the corner in a body bag. But this is by far one of my favorite rooms. It was a room that I didn't have a lot for, and then the more I dug, the more I found. But this is my, this will have to be my centerpiece this year, my pride and joy. I spent a lot of time on it. It took me about five days just to make the mask. And then uh, everything's completely 100% homemade on them, except for the knife, uh, the shoes, even though I paint can the shoes, everything's homemade except for those. Uh, the gloves, the hands, all oh, the axe is fake too, of course. But the shirt, the pants, the apron, everything's homemade. So he's probably almost, he's probably pushing seven foot tall. So he's got a guy here in a body bag with some clown shoes. We've got the burning coals, another one of my props that I'll never get rid of because this is one of my first years I'd actually made something. And um, I'm probably gonna keep it till it breaks. So we got a mermaid in here, we got a clown hanging up, bodies hanging everywhere. Stuff everywhere. We got an extra mask. I was thinking about putting something on here saying this was gonna be like his mask when he was a kid or something. We got his mask down here as well. And then over here we got the seven dollar special at Joanne Fabric with a chainsaw, table full of goodies, clown foot right there. Uh, I like to put the pumpkin guys in here too. They just seem like they would work. This is the guy that was staring out the window. There's a big uh, monkey wrench right there. That was one of the first year hunts, uh, homemade do it yourselves as well. And then last but not least, this is the uh, Monster Museum. Uh, I only got three in here right now. I'll be in here as well uh, as a live actor. But as, if you see, like everybody's on some wood of some sort. Can't really see that one, but everybody's on some side of, sort of plywood. So I'm gonna be in the middle right here. And I'm gonna stand on plywood, motionless with that machete, dressed up like Michael Myers. Yeah, we'll see what happens when I'm dressed up like Michael Myers, but uh, we're gonna, um, we got this guy too. This is my monster box. I have a tutorial on this guy as well. And we got a fog machine. Let's see it. One thing really we got left to do is uh, really just gotta hide the cords. I'm gonna run some rugs or something. I don't want anybody tripping tomorrow. So, yeah, I really like 
like this guy. My only concern is uh, the cam that I put on there is just plywood. It is hitting a, uh, a, a Teflon washer. Something's going to wear out too bad, but I don't want to take any chances. I've had a bad, bad run with my white removers this year. I've got two of them burn up on me already. I'm sure it's something I'm going to do. That's a helicopter flies overhead. You don't plug it. All right, so that's it. And then the exit would be right here. And then we're going to exit the same way we came in. And like I said, we're going to do it in groups. We're going to do it in groups. And uh, we'll have different scare levels. So if it's like level one, it's just kids, then we're just going to um, we're just going to ensure that we're not. We're just kind of just give them a guide through. We're not going to be mean to them or anything. Level two, we'll have the live actors do a little bit. And level three, we're pretty much going to go ham on. Them. So um, really excited for tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Um, Mom might be having a baby today. We don't know, but we're going to make it work no matter what. So we'll have some uh, videotape tomorrow of the actual live haunt of everything that's going down and uh, scaring some people, and we'll put some stuff on there. So until then, catch you later.